So today we have a customer's repair. Now I say by a customer, this is a bulk customer. He brings radios 15 and 20 at a time. And uh, it's a Midland 77805 UK Porter Pack. And I've dismounted its aerial because that would affect us plugging in an external aerial. I'm running it on our power supply. It's got an intact power, um, pouch with the batteries in. All in beautiful condition. It's in time warp condition and with its original speaker mic. Before I've gone completely. Go ahead over. Check your uh, your uh, leaf key fobs in the uh, green bed. Roger, will do. Roger, that's present and correct. Roger, well I'm ready when you are. Okay, well we are recording now, so off you go. So he's outside the door, he's going to disappear off to usual test route six and a half miles away. Excellent and loud and clear on this Midland 77805 UK porter bag. And what's the audio like to you on this one over? It, it's okay, uh, I'm not sure how to describe it. It's, it's, it's very brittle. Roger, uh, probably to, the idea being to cut through the ether. Uh, these will be, I would think these are an electric condenser mic because it's a speaker microphone over. Yeah, Roger that. There's not much bottom end at all. It's all middle and top. I think people will say yes, yeah, typical of a Maxon product. Anyway, that's all about being readable. And uh, yeah, I presume you're about at the, ra at the railway station, petrol station over. Okay then. That's where we'll die. Ancaster Crossroads. Okay, Roger, and that got some surface noise, and that's fine. You're one just over a mile away. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'll talk to camera now. <laughs> So this radio has had the standard kind of service, you know, pulling it up on frequency and um, optimising the power output so it does 4 watts and making sure the receiver's spot on and the detector's set. And, um, yes, yeah, it's a credit to the owner. OK, we've got you at the top of the hill. Some of you may not know that the, with this being a porter pack, you've got the ability to save power by switching the display off, and it's done like that. At the moment, we're drawing 110 milliamps from the power supply, and knocking the displays off drops that down to 70 milliamps. So quite a saving. Roger, got you going round Scratchy Corner at Willsford. It's a full four watts, uh, but there's a bit of scratchiness with you because the receiver isn't as hot as uh, some of the latest models over. Roger got you going over Willsford Level Crossing. Roger got you at the Kelby turn. Uh, you may, some of you may re well realise this is a 77104 UK with out a speaker. So the speaker and the microphone is all in one. So it doesn't have an internal speaker, which is why we, although we've got it propped up like we usually do, um, it's got it with it being a forward-facing speaker. It probably um, it is better for the camcorder to hear this. Roger, 
Roger, got you at the Grayleys turn. It's nice to have a radio which doesn't have CPU noise like some of the latest models do. Okay, that's raw speed level crossing and that concludes the test. So there we have it, the Midland 77805 UK from about 1983. Tiger 21 testing the Midland 77805 UK Porter Pike into the Harrier CBHQ base station. Thank you for watching.